Hey everybody, it's Scott. Welcome to part two of my three-part series, Atrium Update on a Budget. Today, I'm gonna to show you where we've been, what our raw materials are, and what we can look forward to in the final installment. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is my Atrium Update. For those of you that are following me, if you noticed a few weeks ago, we posted on our social media channels my thought on how to redo my atrium on a budget. I've lived in my house 10 years. I'm tired of looking at the butterscotch colored atrium and said it's time for a redo and I wanted to do it using materials I already have and trying to stay on a budget. So let's fast forward to where we are today. We've stripped down everything. We've painted, as you can see, we've got a nice gray and white and black contemporary paint scheme. I took it from the garages that I had recently painted and I've got my raw materials ready to go and I wanted to share with you where we're at. One thing one of my mentors in landscaping told me a long time ago is when you start a project if it's not with a blank canvas just get into it and then let things speak to you as you move along. Let the garden speak to you, let the materials speak to you and that's what I want to really send home in this as we're in this kind of interim in progress video. It started to speak to me. I got my color palette going and then all of a sudden I thought, gosh, white would pop amazingly in this color scheme. So I went to Ikea. I think these are like a buck fifty. Got some pots. Can't wait to show you how we're going to utilize those on the grid here. That's going to be in the final after video. Then in my reuse theme, I found I had a white pot and a dark gray pot already in my backyard, kind of buried in a pile. Brought them out. We're going to figure something out with them. I already had this gray pot here with a little boxwood, so I thought let's continue the boxwood theme, keep it mo monochromatic or plant chromatic, I guess I should say. I don't know what the term would be for that, but another one of my garden gurus says keep your plant palette very limited. So I'm just going to limit it to one or two different plants here. So I've got a couple of big boxwoods here. We'll be putting them in the planters. I'm really excited to show you what the finished product is going to be. It's all in my head right here. That's going to be phase three of the videos. The floor got stained, you'll get to see that. We've got some more rocks in the planters. We're almost there, so stay tuned for the final reveal. It's coming up, and thanks for watching.